Thank you, Minister. And lastly, you know, Brampton is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. It's the ninth largest city today, uh, and its population is 600,000, and it's projected to be a million in the next 10 years. So infrastructure is, is a huge demand in, in our neck of the woods. Uh, so just to, to, uh, to correct the record on some of the questions and uh, testimony that's been given today on how the Canada Infrastructure Bank could help a city like Brampton build infrastructure uh, to help Canadians get moving again. We know that, uh, that Brampton, like other places across the country, needs to have the kind of infrastructure that will allow people to get back and forth, in the case of Brampton, to downtown Toronto, that will allow people to get back home to their, their family uh, more rapidly in the evenings. That kind of infrastructure is expensive. We know that uh, the kind of money that we've put for the next dozen years is going to make a really significant dent, especially when we work together with Ontario and uh, with, with local municipalities. But there will be projects that will provide us with the opportunity to think about even doing more. And that's what the Canada Infrastructure Bank is intended to do, finding those projects where we can crowd in private sector investors, they can put money to work. It might help all of us who have pensions that are uh, actually being uh, run by those institutional investors and also help us to have a more productive place, whether it's in Brampton or other places across the country because of those investments. That's what we're trying to achieve.